What would 12 year old you never believe about adult you? By Ask Reddit. That all of the things I said I'd always remember and never do as an adult, I've largely forgotten and probably do as an adult. 12 year old me wanted to buy a boat instead of a house and then I could just live wherever I want and not have a job because I wouldn't have rent. 12 year old me was kind of a genius. Dot a new fish for your food. 12 year old me hadn't thought it out that far. Hey, 14 year old me had. I was going to have a cruise ship with its own nose arc style ecosystem that was self-sustaining. You, tell me get off Reddit almighty. We never got that growth spurt we were promised. Same. I'm in my 20s and people still tell me I'll get one one day, edit, a lot of y'all seem to think I'm a man somewhere around 5 feet, I'm a 25 year old woman that's somewhere around 4 feet 8 inches. I've been that tall since 10th grade. A friend of mine got it at 22. He was shorter than his brother but ended up taller. There is still hope for me. Mine seems to have been horizontal rather than vertical. My growth spurt happened at 15. It was 1.5 inches. I'm 5 foot foot 1 in shoes. 5 foot foot? Well that's 10 feet. That I still laugh at the exact same things. Still listen to the same music too. That sometimes, when I'm not paying attention, my mom's words slipped right out of my mouth. Sometimes it happens even when I'm paying attention. I'm too young to turn into her. My mother isn't always wrong. She's right about a lot of things, even if they didn't make sense when I was younger. Most subjective things though. No. That. I too. Don't know what the f I'm doing with my life. Lol I think 12 year old me knew more about what I was doing in life than I do. Ignorance is bliss I'm told. For almost 9 years, I've worked literally one minute away from a huge water park and I've never gone there. I lived in New Zealand for 8 years, been to the studio and the film locations, still haven't seen the movies, edit, funny how I forgot to mention Lot R but I think everyone upvoted know what movie was talking about, edit 2, my highest upvoted comment is about my ignorance, great oh. I traveled in Mexico and when I told one of the guys who worked at a hostel I stayed at that I was from New Zealand, he was like, oh, they made that movie there. And I was like, yep, Lord of the Rings. And he looked confused and said, no, the other one. Ah, once we're warriors, there's no punchline beyond that, I just wanted to share that story. Doesn't need one, that's the funniest thing I've read all day. The fact that he looked confused really paints a picture. 12 years old me as well as current me would never forgive this one. That I have a kid taller than me. I'm not tall or anything just never pictured being shorter than my 13 year old. I'm 5 feet 7 inches and married someone who is 5 feet 10 inches or taller. Our son is like 6 feet 1 inch at 17 and daughter is 5 feet 9 inches at 15. Probably makes sense considering my father-in-law is 6 feet 4 inches. Genetics are so cool. Same I'm 5, 6 my husband is 5, 9 our two sons are 6, 4. Well, stop giving them steroids for breakfast then, mama. When they were just lads they had 4 dozen eggs every morning to help them get large. So they're roughly the size of a barge. My mum barely reached the bottom of my neck when I was 13. Now she barely reaches my chest, she still does that, if you don't come here I'll whoop your ass threats, though. That I'm almost 40 and still don't have a stable full of horses. I just turned 40 and finally do have a horse of my own. It was well worth the wait, young me. Same. Finally got my beautiful mare when I was 30, been wanting one basically more than life itself since I was 9. Young me would have started foaming at the mouth if she knew. I live in a whole ass other country and speak another language now, that definitely would have come as a surprise. Where did you come from, where did you go? US to Japan it seems like. Same, and despite all the hours 12 year old me spent with a Japanese dictionary, it's not Japan. In my case, it actually is. Though I didn't start studying Japanese until nearly a decade later. That I haven't gotten married. That's something I just assumed would happen and yet here we are and I'm still single. I think he'd also be surprised at how rough my teenage years were. I feel ya op. Not only that I haven't gotten married but that I have spent the last 13 years single, and, that I failed out of college twice and am only now doing well enough to finally get a bachelor's next year at 33. I didn't fail out, but I just stopped going a few times. Being in your early 30s getting the degree isn't that weird. 
Same. I think my past self would have thought I would be a lot further than I am, married with kids, nice house etc etc. But nope none of that at 29. Time is flying woman shrugging medium light skin tone. Yeah. I'm doing well career-wise and given how much I make I have a pretty good amount in savings, but it's weird how despite this life feels a bit empty. My apartment is way too quiet. Same, 12-year-old me was an optimist, and thought adult me would be married by 25, or maybe 28 if I went for the PhD, with an enjoyable meaningful job, and a kid or two by 30-ish in my own home. Surprise, 12-year-old me, you never even dated till nearly 30, still single by 40, have never yet had a real, good job, and had to move back in with your parents, and have no foreseeable plan for life to move on. On the plus side, for being a pudgy dork 12-year-old, you're in good athletic shape and still have your hair. Same, I think this would have been the biggest shock to young me. 36 years old, been mostly single for the past 16 years and nowhere close to getting married, having kids, or having that middle-class American job I was promised if I just graduated college. I must have thought we graduated college and were just handed the American life, how wrong I was, life isn't terrible, but it certainly isn't what I expected it to be. One day I will get to the point where I am living it though instead of waiting to die, this thought brought to you by chronic depression, get yours today. I actually like exercise and physical activity, it's just P class that sucked. School does a surprisingly good job of sucking every last bit of fun out of many subjects. PE focused on competitive team sports, horrible for non-competitive or less coordinated people. My school loved doing dance exercise. Every single year, without fail, we would have one or two terms of dancing. In grade 9, I got incredibly sick. My feet swelled up so much that I couldn't wear my school shoes. I was diagnosed with arthritis, and given a letter from the doctor to excuse me from PE. It was one of those dance terms. She laughed at my letter because only old people get arthritis, and then called me lazy. I tried really hard that term, but I still got a crappy grade, because dancing when your feet are in excruciating pain is not very graceful. You should have gone to the principal or something, because that almost sounds like abuse. I should have. It was 18 years ago, so nothing I can do now, lol. Find your old gym teacher and put your lazy foot in her ass. I used to love reading for enjoyment till about grade 7 to 8 and then school ruined it with their mandatory books that were never engaging for a teenager. I more or less stopped reading books unless I had to till I finished university. Just after graduating I had a bunch of free time and rediscovered how much I enjoyed reading again. School does really suck the fun out of a lot of things. Man I relate so much to this. I read like crazy in lower school and even through middle school a bit. By high school I was completely burned out and stopped reading for fun entirely. I'll be graduating college in a year or so and still haven't read a book for fun since. I'll find one that looks good and either buy it or put it on a Christmas list. Then just never touch it, it sits on my bookshelf collecting dust. In middle school I transferred from a co-ed public school to an all-girls private school with much smaller class sizes, and I was absolutely floored by how much more fun gym was. There were only like 12 of us, and we learned a bunch of weird sports like badminton and rounders. Nobody was particularly good at any of them, and the focus was way more on having fun than on competing, and suddenly gym was one of my favorite classes instead of the absolute worst. Badminton and rounders are weird sports. Guess I really did grow up in the UK. Dude same. As a girl in a mixed gender middle school PE class, I thought that sports were literally just used to size up one another's skill and strength, and that there was nothing fun about them. Now I love staying active and use it as my relaxation method after a long day's work. That I actually like bees now and want to pursue beekeeping someday. I used to hate all bugs no matter what, but with more research, I realized that bees aren't so bad. Still hate other bugs though. So bees are all the buzz, eh? Indeed they are. They're also the bee's knees. That the brother I hated would become my best friend edit, damn. Left this comment before bed, came back to this. Thank you all for the awards, lol this never happens to me on here. Warms my lil heart to see so many people with a lot of love for their brothers. Yes, took my nearly 20 years to connect with my brother. I'm still working on it with mine. It's hard when you relate so much to another person and yet you have vastly different personalities. We never achieved that swan status. Still an ugly duckling. 
I read the Hans Christian Andersen story, it features many times of the ugly duckling saying, I'm so ugly, I should just die, it's not a good moral. A better moral is you may be an ugly duck. But that's because you are really a dog, and someone out there thinks you are one heck of a dog. Just gotta find that person. Thank you for watching. We upload new videos every day, so be sure to come back for more fun. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the video.